Hello and welcome to the month of September. I am so excited knowing what God is going to do. Now, I don't know everything that God is going to do, but from what he said, it promises to be an amazing, an amazing month. And one of the things that I have observed over the years or all these years is that God always will exceed what he has done in our lives. The Bible says, unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all we could ever ask or think. Then he says, according to the power that works within us. The month of September by the Holy Spirit is a month of growth. And this kind of growth is going to lead to manifestation. You know, at the beginning of the year, the Lord said to us that the year 2021 is the year of undeniable demonstration of His power and of His grace. And that we are going to see things uh, happen in us and through us as a ministry and even as individuals. And we have seen how all that has played out even on to this day. We've seen God's hand demonstrated in so many, many ways, and we are both grateful for all that the Lord has done. So in this month of September, which is a month of growth for manifestation, the kind of thing that the Lord wants us to focus on, He wants us to evaluate our growth pattern uh, to ensure that it reflects heaven's expectation for us. It, it means that we have to be intentional about growth. And one of the things that I believe that the Lord is communicating to us also in this morning is that anything that does not lead to growth, cut it off. Anything that does not encourage growth, get rid of it. Because the time is short. The cries of men and women have gone up onto heaven. And they're asking God, you know, this is something that the Lord penned to me as we as we were looking into the month of September, I believe I shared a little bit of that in the devotional, which is that the world around us is crying to God for something. And what they're asking God for, God doesn't have it, he says. He says, what they are asking for, I have given it to the church. In other words, just a reminder, not that we don't know these things really. Uh, Jesus told us that we are the light of the world and the salt of the earth. It means that we are the answer to the cry of millions in our world. And I feel and I know that the Lord is asking us to step up and answer our call, and answer our name, and respond to the need of those around us. So this month of September, I want to encourage you to set goals. I want to encourage you to, uh, to write down expectation. I want you to determine First, I want to grow. If God is calling for growth in my life, if God is calling me onto maturity, I want to commit to doing that. I want to spend some time studying the word and jumping at every opportunity to do what I have studied. Bible tells us, as newborn babes in Christ, that we should desire the sincere make of the word that we may grow thereby. Just studying is part of the process. Listening and learning God's word is part of the process, but that in itself doesn't bring about growth. Real and true growth is when you act on those things that you have learned from God's word. And I'm telling you, God is going to be communicating words and bringing revelation to you this month. But again, you must jump at every opportunity to do God's word. Because the world around you needs to see the God in you. They are crying out for manifestations of the power of God. And that's why we're here. We are God's agent to bring about that God change in our world. I'm praying for you in your family and I know that this is going to be an exciting great month for you so let's join in 
and see God do what he wants to do in us and through us. Again, welcome to September, the month of growth for manifestation. God bless you. Thank mm-hmm. you.